Hey everyone, just a very quick video I needed to show you guys. I was very excited to actually receive this board and to show you. It's it's a sort of a single board computer but with the x86. It's an old, old version. Um, and sadly it's not working that well. Um, I'll tell you what's wrong but uh, let's just go through the specs. So, like the VR board I showed you last time. Uh, this one has the SOC or the CPU, it's not an SOC, the memory is outside and the south bridge is outside. So the CPU plus north bridge and GPU combo, um, you know, embedded onto the board, it's not removable, it's all BGA stuff. Um, and then they have a small fan on it. Uh, so basically it was a mobile chip set um, by AMD, single core, 1.5 GHz, many years old. Um, one of, from the era where UEFI biases existed but they needed a 32-bit bootloader to even boot a 64-bit kernel stuff like that and you know Windows specific stuff um, you know it, only you can boot Linux in legacy mode but in UEFI only very recently did like distros like Fedora have started um, supporting 32-bit to 64-bit uh, kernel uh, switch over so with that said, uh, more about the board, uh, again 1.5 GHz single core AMD uh, Hudson E240, uh, not so fast, faster than the VR1 of course, anything faster than that chip, but you know, not really super fast, and this one actually uh, has a pretty decent GPU inbuilt, very much comparable to today's Intel HD GPUs, so it is is technically an APU of that time. Uh, it has the Intel HD 6310 inbuilt, and I have the Intel HD 63 to 6450 right here uh, with me. So just a smaller brother to this one. Um, has a VGA HDMI, awesome stuff. Uh, you know your um, mouse and keyboard, the PS2 type. USB gigabit Ethernet um, and the headphone um, audio stuff. Four SATA ports, uh, DDR3-1066 memory and the PCI Express lane and this is the reason I actually bought this uh, was, was this particular um, I wanted to I wanted to use it as a platform to test PCI cards that I buy online and some of them are like from shady retailers and you know um, they don't really come in a proper package and they sometimes don't work that well so just to test them as soon as they arrive I needed a platform and I was supposed to be using this and the damn thing doesn't have the PCI stuff working like it's broken and it's broken in a very weird way like I've checked all the connections nothing shorted out um, at least on the PCI side I don't know some like BGA shorted out here or and then like you know it doesn't work anymore um, but you know nothing from the board side that shorted out so if I I don't have anything connected to it but um, if I just give it a quick power on it turns on it gives you this single beep and then you can see like the bias come up and you know insert boot drive to boot stuff like that your regular stuff so I power it off you know Powers down. Take my PCI card, and this and this this is actually working everywhere. Um, and I've tested with multiple cards, so it's it's not the hardware on the PCI side; it's the board that's not working. So put that in, power it on, and that. So a very obvious six tone. A repeated pattern no, absolutely nothing on the display and it just it stays there so I have to force force shut it down um, remove the PCI card and this thing still won't boot uh, it will do the same pattern over again so I have to you know uh, clear the CMOS wait for maybe one two three four five seconds and it's done uh, place it back and now if I power it on it would work so
wait for it there you go uh, boots up now for any reason if you think it's the fault of the PCI card that the card is wrong even if I plug in this which is basically just converting um, focus yeah so it's basically just converting uh, PCI to you know USB 3 pinout for the expansion like it's not an actual USB 3 like there's no active chip on there so just using the physical wires and the USB 3 port to like uh, do PCI stuff and then you have an expansion port that gives you like an external PCI thing so you know uh, hardware that came from the mining world um, if you plug this in uh, it, it only does enough for the board to detect that there's a PCI pin uh, PCI um, thing installed and the way the board does that is that there's a PCI sense one um, or like it's, it's called the um, it's called the PCI it's the PCI sense or something else like there are two sense ones there's a sense one and sense two so um, they and then so the sense one is pulled to ground the sense two is connected over a pull up resistor to the actual uh, the actual PCI hub or the, like the PCI controller um, and when you plug something in uh, it will detect that it's there it will detect what length it is because you have a PCI sense uh, 1 at 1x 4x or so 1x 2x 4x 8x and 16x so it, will, it can detect um, what length it is and it also detects if the entire card is actually you know plugged in properly otherwise it won't uh, you know activate the PCI hardware so if I just turn it off there and all this does right now without anything attached to the USB port uh, you know without without the expansion port let me show that as well for clarity so you get this expansion board and you know just the USB 3 is just being used as you know to carry the PCI signals that's all there's no USB IP in there but um, so you plug this in all it does is uh, you know connects the sense 1 to sense 2 on the X1 side and that's enough to trigger the error so if I power it on there you go I mean and that's sort of the only flaw of this board like this board has I've, I've been testing it pretty much all there and this board has worked perfectly like the GPU is all open source the bootloader plays nice with a lot of operating systems the uh, the RAM passed mem test pretty well and you know other other things like that everything else works there's the only problem and the only reason I wanted this board was to test the PCI and that is the thing that's dead so yeah I, I sadly have to give it away otherwise it was a pretty decent board uh, especially if you want to do like DOS and maybe just command line Linux stuff run a couple of small uh, service services um, servers kind of thing you know get uh, you know have your own git cloud stuff like that uh, pretty decent board old but decent still uh, you know uh, but the problem is some of them are just RMA parts that are being resold sadly this was I guess one of them and yeah I tried updating the bias it was already on the latest bus version but I reflashed it anyways you know just sort of hey maybe it needs reflashing um, but yeah, uh, sadly did not work as I expected. I was I was excited to like un uh, you know remove all the heat sinks so we show you the silicon, but cannot do that right now. Uh, it's it's going away tomorrow. Uh, but I will be having a new board, same embedded style, a bit more modern with a bit more legacy support as well, uh, some more special features. So that might should be interesting. Um, and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.